I'm Dr. Maury Markman from City of Hope, and I want to discuss um, a very interesting, um, important, but I'm the first to admit, controversial topic uh, in the oncology sphere. The paper, when I give you the, the title, you'll, you'll, you'll understand very quickly the controversy. The title is Changes in Prognostic Beliefs of Patients with Metastatic Cancer and Their Association with Changing Health Status. This paper, very provocative paper, was recently published in the Journal of the National Comprehensive Cancer Network, 2023, volume 21, issue 10, pages 1021 through 1028. I think most of you know, or many of you know, of the controversies uh, that have surrounded the question of the understanding of many patients and their families of the prognosis they might have been given when they are told they have an advanced cancer or they have an earlier stage cancer that becomes more advanced or metastatic, meaning that a variety of papers over the last several decades have reported in surveys of patients with advanced cancers that actually a relatively small percentage will be accurately able to say or will accurately state in the survey provided to them that they know the therapy is uh, of palliative intent to hopefully prolong survival, to hopefully improve quality of life, but that it is extremely unlikely, and you'll never say never, but extremely unlikely to result in long-term disease-free survival or cure. In other words, patients will say, I'm hoping for cure, I think it might be cured, when in fact the population-based data will say this is not accurate and that it is a small percentage of patients that actually address this directly head on and saying, yes, I know my therapy is designed to hopefully improve my outcome to a modest, even a limited extent, but not more than that. Therefore, the question has come up of, you know, are the doctors not giving accurate information? Are the patients or their family not willing to hear what is happening here? Uh, do we only hear good news? Are we having difficulty hearing bad news? Again, is it a problem of communication? Um, and, you know, there's been tremendous debate on the topic and, uh, you know, what it means, what the implications of it, I mean. But this particular paper, I think, uh, adds an interesting uh, commentary to the conversation. Because what these investigators did, and, and they looked at actually a total of 600 patients with solid tumors or metastatic uh, at diagnosis, but they asked the question about the, the beliefs and outcome multiple times over a period of up to nine months, rather than asking, you know, what's uh, a diagnosis or just a single time. They asked the same patients multiple times during this continuum. And what they found was interesting that the stated prognosis that they state varied considerably over time. In fact, they use the term unstable in terms of what the, the patient stated um, and made a particular point of saying that depending on the health status, uh, the state of prognosis may change, become actually more accurate in terms of the accuracy defined by what the population-based data say, more accurate as their health deteriorates, meaning, at least my interpretation of what they're saying is that you know, patients, when they have uh, that actual outcome become more than a word or a term in a book or on a page in a article, when it becomes real to them based upon how they feel, their decline in functional ability, they become more realistic, at least what they say to the surveyor. And when they're feeling better and they have a, you know, 
better uh, view of the world, you might say, that their stated view of the future, again, according to the textbook, is inaccurate. Again, a very interesting uh, paper, a very interesting perspective. Certainly, it's only a point uh, on the curve of the, in the commentary, but I think a very perspective, a very important perspective that, uh, again, my statement is patients are not necessarily unrealistic. They're viewing things as they see them today and they're added to today. But if, if something should turn to the negative uh, in terms of health status, they can, they will, they do uh, view things um, in a more accurate manner in terms of making life decisions for the future. Again, complex topic, but it, it's a very important and very interesting paper to uh, review. And for those of you who are interested in this topic, uh, I would encourage you to read this very uh, interesting paper, again, recently published in the Journal of the National Comprehensive uh, Cancer Network. Thank you very much for your attention.